Hello again. We're going to move on in your uh, <clears throat> with the um, anatomy of the muscles. We're going to move down to the legs. And if you're following along with your study guide, uh, we have three gluteal muscles, the gluteus maximus, the gluteus medius, and the gluteus minimus that we're going to talk about. All right, and let's rotate. I think we probably all know where our gluteus maximus muscles are. There's your left one. There's your right one. And uh, as you can see these are very large muscles. Let's kind of zoom in here and let's show our pins for the one over there on the right. So you can see that your origin is up here on the pelvis, pelvic bones. You have a number of attachments there. It's also going to be attached to the sacrum as well. And then your insertion points are going to be down here on the femur. <clears throat> a couple of different locations. So the insertion points are actually deeper down in there on the bone itself, if we kind of zoom in there. You can see that. All right, so you can see how the, the grain of the muscle is running, how those fibers are oriented. So if you think about it, when this muscle contracts, what is it going to be doing? One of the things it's going to be doing is pulling back on the leg, pulling on the femur. So that's going to um, accomplish hyperextension at the hip. So hyperextension at the hip, again, is when you pull your leg backwards uh, in a posterior direction away from anatomical position. <clears throat> so if you guys remember hip flexion, like if you're bringing your thigh up towards the trunk, you're raising the thigh, that's hip flexion. And then hip extension, you're bringing it back down towards anatomical position. And if you kick your leg backwards, that's considered to be hyperextension of the uh, of the hip joint, that ball and socket there between the ball of the femur and the acetabulum. The gluteus maximus is also helping you just with regular hip extension. So think about if you're squatting down and you come up, you stand up, you're going against gravity, making that happen. And so your gluteus maximus is pulling on the femur and it's helping um, extend the hip so you go from a flexed position when you're down in a squat, pulling that uh, femur upward back, returning it to anatomical position as hip extension. So your gluteus maximus is helping you with hip extension as well. <clears throat> you guys know that if you've ever done squatting exercises before, those certainly impact the gluteus maximus muscles. All right, that's that. All right, the gluteus medius. Now if we rotate this way and we take on a lateral view, right there. You've got a side muscle, gluteus medius. It's on the medial side, lateral side. You've got one over on the left, of course, as well. And if we scan upward a little bit here, let's show our pins. All right, origin up here on the, um, on the pelvis, just like we saw with, <coughs> with the gluteus maximus. And then your insertion point is going to be down here on the femur, so deep to these muscles that you're seeing here. And now this muscle is running over on the side, so if you think this portion of the muscle is stationary when it contracts, it's pulling on this point down here, what's going to happen to your legs? They're going to abduct outward, so you're elevating abduction, elevating the lat leg in a lateral direction, which is abduction of the leg. You're moving the thigh away from the midline of the body. <clears throat> All right, let's clear our pins. Now, if I highlight that one and hide it, that muscle right there that's deep to it is called the gluteus minimus. And so you've got one of those over on this side as well. Let's hide that one. There you go, there's your gluteus minimus. And I'm gonna hide that temporarily so you can see the whole thing. Kinda wish I could get my arm out of the way. Here we go, this is a good view. All right, there's your gluteus minimus muscle, and notice what it's attached to. All right, so the origin, let's show our pins. Origin's up here on the pelvis, <clears throat> up there on the, on the ilium, and your insertion point is down here, and that's actually the greater trochanter. Remember the greater trochanter? Big projection that you have there on the, on the uh, femur. And the reason you have that big projection at that location is because you have these muscles attached to it and they're pulling on that location. You use these quite a, quite a bit 
for uh, various movements and um, that causes the bone to grow at that location. That's why you have that, uh, that projection on the bone at that location. So this is a, a deeper muscle and um, it's synergistic to the gluteus medius. They help each other out. Those two are, are synergists. All right. Let's go back. I'm going to refresh my view here. Now let's move on to our quadriceps group of muscles. And you guys are familiar with your quads. So there's one. Let me turn on multiple select here so you can see them. As a group, one, two, three. That's three of them. And then let me actually hide those. And then there's your fourth one right there. So the fourth one is actually a deeper muscle. So you have four of them. That's where they get their name, the quadriceps muscles. And they are all synergistic with each other. They help each other out to accomplish their movements. And um, what these do is they help flex the hip. And then they also extend the knee. So if we look at the knee from the side, remember um, flexion of the knee, you'd be moving the lower leg upward like that extension, you're bringing it back into anatomical type position. Now think about it, if you're down in a squat, your knee is flexed. And so when you stand up, you push yourself back up, you're, you're fighting against gravity to make that happen. That requires muscle contraction, muscle force, and the muscles that are allowing you to extend the knee and straighten it back up are these quadricep muscles. And you're also getting some help from your gluteus maximus muscle back here um, because when you're down in a squat your hips are also flexed. You have flexion at the hip joint because your thigh is up closer to the trunk and so the gluteus maximus is pulling on the femur and helping you stand up. And then we're also going to see your hamstring muscles back here on the posterior side help you with that type of movement as well. All right so let's, uh, let's turn everybody back on. There we go. Now those muscles don't want to turn off. Let's deselect everybody. All right. So let's go through each of these individually. So with your quads, you've got one that's in the center, medial, um, or in the center of the leg, rather. And that's called the rectus femoris, middle anterior thigh. And let's take a look at its origins and insertions. All right. So the origin scan upward here, is up here on the pelvis, right in there. It's attached to the pelvic bone up at that location. And then your insertions, let's go down to the knee, and look where it's inserted. It inserts down here on the distal portion of the femur, and then it's connecting into this tendon that runs across. There's your patella, your kneecap, and then there's your patellar ligament. So that's a ligament that goes across the kneecap and attaches to the tibial tuberosity. Remember that big bump just below the kneecap there. All right, so when this muscle contracts, origin up here, insertion down here. Okay, so one thing it's going to do is it is going to, it's going to pull on the femur, which is going, if we think about it, we look at this from the side, if you're pulling on the femur, the femur is going to come up like this, so that's hip flexion. So the rectus femoris is involved in flexion of the hip. But then also because that muscle pulls on this tendon that connects to the tibial tuberosity, if we're thinking about this from the side, if you have your knee in a flexed position, it's going to pull the lower leg forward as well. So it's also going to be helping with extension of the knee when that happens. All right, so that's pretty, like you think about squatting, that's, that's a type of exercise that you would use to build your quads. And uh, you're using your quads when you're squatting down because you're flexing the hip when you're down in a squat. Your uh, femur is going to be in this direction up towards the trunk. And then when you stand back up, you've got to extend the knee to help stand yourself back up. And your quads are also involved in that movement as well. So that's why squatting is such a good exercise for your quadriceps muscles. All right. Does not want to deselect. Okay. 
All right, so the, uh, the other two um, superficial quads that you have, one of them is on the lateral side. That one's called the vastus lateralis. And then one's over here on the medial side. That one is the vastus medialis. It also looks a little meatier. <laughs> it's thicker and uh, sticks out to the side a little bit more. But those aren't too hard if you just, hard, if you just remember the vastus part. Vastus lateralis is over here in lateral. Vastus medialis is over here on that side. Turn my multi-select off. There we go. All right, and in terms of the actions for these, now they all, uh, if you notice, these muscles all connect down here into the patellar tendon. So they are synergists with the uh, rectus femoris there in the center. They're going to help with extension of the knee joint. You kind of see how they're connected in there. Deselect that one. For instance, there's the vastus lateralis. If we kind of zoom in here near the knee, scan down, see how it's connecting into the tendon there? And so that muscle is going to wind up helping you with extension of the knee joint. Now because it's over here on the lateral side, it has some other things that it does as well. It's pulling over here kind of on the lateral side of the knee, so it's also going to be involved in eversion of the knee when you turn your knee in an outward direction like that. That's eversion of the knee. The vastus medialis over here, because it is the fibers are connecting onto the medial side of the knee, when it contracts, it's going to pull on the, the kneecap in this direction and cause inversion of the knee. But then again, um, those two are working together with the rectus femoris to uh, help you out with knee extension. All right, and then I'm, let me hide, scan back upward, let me hide the rectus femoris. This deeper quadricep muscle here that's underneath the rectus femoris, that is called the vastus intermedius. Okay, and it is a synergist with the other quadricep muscles, which help you stand up from a squatting position. So all of those are going to work together for those movements. All right, I'm actually going to stop this um, video lecture here, and then we're going to move on on the next one. We'll continue on with the hamstring group of muscles.